Hello! Welcome to our apartment tour. Get inside, please. Okay, so this is our place, which is me and Luis, who is kindly standing behind the camera. Hi, Luis. <laughs> so I figured I might just show you this place because you've seen it multiple times in like different sections and you probably know it all, but I just wanted to have a apartment tour because we just put up some details and I feel like it's really just our place now. So I really just wanted to share that with you. So welcome and let's go. Quick little reminder, this is a 16 square meter apartment. So it's extremely small. With the kitchen, with the bathroom, it's all 16 square meters. So coming into this door, which is the front door you just walked into right here we have our wardrobe basically and this is all very makeshift at our place this is just like a hanger thing that we plugged into the I don't know what this is controls something something so this is our wardrobe it looks quite bad in the winter time so we're really lucky that it's summer now here we have the kitchen which the accent color the dark red is definitely um, to be adjusted to but here we have all of our cutlery and all of the stuff that we use for daily cooking basically and here we have our little kitchen this is the sink we have two stove plates only because it's obviously really small but it does work quite well the whole apartment has some like very unique things for example these only start working when you pull them to three and then you need to go down down because if you start by like 0.5 they won't even get hot like it's really weird this is our fridge which honestly sucks ass I'm not gonna lie it's also full right now we are stuffed with food and this is the freezer which obviously does not really fulfill its purpose so we can totally ditch that and this is the trash I'm not gonna show you that because that's just that's just trash, trash. we don't need that <laughs> so yeah this is a little kitchen area I hung up a hanger thingy here to hold some of the kitchen towels because as you want to see we don't we have like zero storage space anywhere so everything that can be somewhat used for storage we do use a storage Then here we have the second part of our wardrobe which is our shoes and also my water bottle I don't know what that's here walking right into my huge Doc Martens is a plus every single day and Ours, excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Also Louise's <laughs> That's just like a two store thing so we can put a little bit in the height as well And then here we have our skateboard So this is my penny board and funnily enough. I actually do use this so often. It's actually insane how often I use this penny board for $10 off of eBay so that's awesome and then also here's Luis's so he this is basically his bike because his bike here is broken so he uses it to get to work to go to university to do run errands to just basically do anything so this has to live up here and also this is also a makeshift shoe holder <laughs> right off the left to the kitchen we do have the bathroom which here we still have some more storage that's usually where we put our fresh vegetables in and this is also the vacuum cleaner so if you open the door this is the bathroom as you can see it's tiny like if I go like this I can touch both sides of this bathroom which is quite small but in here we just basically do have a really big mirror which I adore I'm so happy this is in here because it makes the room look really big and also then we have the toilet we have the trash bin all that good stuff the sink we have this this was not in the apartment everything that's white is basically stuff I put in because um, the apartment has this like light brown color that's all was in there already so this is the apartment this is the highlight get naked words to live by and then basically we just have the showers here so really easy nothing fancy and this is really cool I got this from Ikea we're actually not supposed to drill any holes in the wall I did it anyway because it just fits perfectly this just has to be here like I think it's just perfect yeah this is the bathroom coming out of the bathroom we have not really done two steps yet because surprise this is still the front door so you can realize how small this is I do two steps and I'm at the bathroom so it's small in here here we have the big centerpiece of this apartment which is this storage closet bed kind of situation and everything in here is really deep so you can put a lot of stuff in here and this is all stuffed with food here we have some towels and here's just like random things that we grab like fruits we have some cash up in here some sunglasses some whatever a little bit of cash <laughs> whatever just random stuff and this Louis built is also very makeshift but this is so cool it's his old skateboard that he doesn't really use anymore. So he hung it up to hold our caps, our gloves in the winter time, our hats, anything that's outdoor kind of related. And here we have the thing that we need to grab like on the daily basis. So we have our wallets in here, we have our keys in here. This actually should go around like this, it fell off. We have some masks, so everything that we just, when you run out, you just grab is in here. We finally made it to the main <laughs> living area, which is an office, bedroom, living room, 
yoga studio, <laughs> filming studio all in one place. So this is obviously the largest piece of this apartment. And what's really nice about this is that the ceilings are really tall. So what is this, maybe 320? And that's really nice because it just enlarges the room a ton. The apartments above us actually don't have that. So I'm really glad we do. Up in here, I actually forgot on the other side, we do have some storage space. So stuff that's not really pretty. This side is prettier. So we do have some books up here. This is mainly Lewis's. We have some plants. I killed like seven plants. I do have like a little plant cemetery up in there. I'm going to show you in the b-roll because when I moved in here I bought a lots of little plants and then one after another they just died. So these are the two last remaining and I'm really holding on to them. I'm pushing them through. So we have some plants. We do have some wine that we mostly got gifted. Camera stuff. My favorite shoes are up there as well. This is an amazing surf book that Luis got me for Christmas I believe. Mm -hmm. And this is also the second plant. This light goes around the whole room. It's like five meters long. It starts here goes up in here, goes all the way over there, and then down here. So this is really nice lighting because the lighting in this room is literally awful. You feel like you're in a hospital or something. It's really, really gross. So we do have multiple lighting options that are just a lot warmer and a lot nicer. So here we have the closet, which this is the hanging part of the closet. And this is the, o this is the only piece in this apartment that I have not organized yet. And I don't know if I will. <laughs> this is rather miscellaneous stuff. This lives in here. This is our hanging space, which we also hang multiple items over one another because we don't have that much. And then we have some more shoes. Here we do have the bedroom. This is 90 centimeters. And we actually do put this down on the floor. We do sleep on the floor because we just got a little bit more space to spread. Because also here you have a little, like a little nook that it's really, really tight in and you don't want to sleep here with another person every single night. So we do put this down on the floor, which is like also a nice homage to van life. I don't, we don't even really mind it. It's kind of like a morning and night thing to do. It's weird. Here, these are mostly my books and just some random stuff. We do keep this jar with like change and when it fills up, we go for sushi, which we just did. That's what's happening here. This is our culprit and if you do move this away because you need to, if you want to access this secret thing, we have some more clothes. Mm -hmm. So up in here we have all the big things like sweaters, we do have lots of socks obviously, some sweatshirts, it sweatpants, really messy. towels, yeah it's like the best, it just looks ridiculously unorganized but I actually love it. This just looks all up in here because what we also do have is we have closet space up here and this is also obviously a little bit more organized so we have all of our trousers pants, jeans, t-shirts, sports gear, basically stuff that we wear every day and that's not really bulky so all of the winter stuff is mainly down here. I think that's all for the storage and then let's move over to here. I got this mirror from a friend of mine for like 10 bucks which I love and this is also where I film most of my workouts and like the kind of outfit videos because this is just a blank wall and I actually wanted this to stay completely blank just because it's amazing for filming. This is our camera equipment, all of it, which is really conveniently stored. And then here we are at the office, aka dining table. This is all of Louise's Waves of Woods, which he loves. Shout out to Waves of Woods. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> We do have a little IKEA storage thing up here, which just holds stationary stuff, some workbooks, all of our charging cables. That's just like the, I think it's like the Alexa drawer. I don't know. It's like the thing that everybody has in their room because it's so convenient. And then this, which we love. These are all of my Polaroids that I've ever taken with my camera and I've had it since 2016. I have not really taken a lot lately. So these are all rather old, I'd say, but I'm just in love with this. And you have seen me put this up, obviously one of the, more recent videos but I just I love it and this was the first thing that I knew when I came in here I was like I wanted Polaroids all over here and it took me quite some time to put them up but here we are now absolutely in love this is like my favorite part of the whole apartment it's so cute I'm so thankful that we have these amazing huge big ass windows because there's so much sunlight coming in especially this is facing east so when we wake up we have the sun right in our faces which I love so this is amazing and these are the cutest things ever they are my license They are, they are my license plates for my Vespa. What is it called in English? Motorcycle. Baby motorcycle. <laughs> Small motorcycle. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so these are really cute. And these are just like some decorational stuff. This Louis made himself with like the engraving here. This is really cute. This actually should hold my jewelry. That's another story. We're not going to talk about that. Here are Louis' climbing shoes. And when we go outside, it's actually, we still have some stuff out there that we just kind of put out there so it's not in here. But this is our terrace. This is our garden area. And we do 
time. Don't look at this, please. And we do use the space very often. We're out here like all the time. And it's just so nice. Like there's so much greenery out here. Also, we have our hanging, chilling. What is that called? It does have an, it does there. have a name. Anyway, we have this, and obviously it's amazing to like put your laundry up and like that kind of stuff. It's very functional, but it's also very nice, and it's, it just adds to your living space a lot because we spend a lot of time out here, especially in the summer. In the winter, obviously, it's not really as useful, but in the summer, it's the best thing in the whole world. And we do have sun from sunrise until 2, 3-ish, which is also really nice. I think that's everything. I'm really proud of this place, and I'm really grateful for this place. I know it's crazy that we actually live in this place, two of us, that it's so small, but we're just very happy to have this. I'm really excited to have shown it to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's at Lina Lucia, and bye-bye.